Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photo of evidently earrings and asking if anybody had the file. And a couple of people answered her, and she's new to Corel. And they told her this would be a very good one to start with to learn. So I'm not going to share the file with you, but I'll I'll walk you through this. I'm going to make mine a little bit different, but this is evidently a set of earrings. I don't know how big to make them yet, but uh, you can always change that afterwards. So we're just going to draw a circle that's like one inch. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to draw another circle, holding down the control button and getting a symmetrical circle. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to select them all. And then I'm going to hit T like Tom, put it to the top. I'm going to hold down the control button and it'll click on the midpoint. Now let's zoom in here a little bit. Control D and make a duplicate of that circle. Click on it again and get it to the center. It's going to lock on the center. And then I always back up and make sure it is. And then I'm just going to move it over to about there. And it gets to 15 degrees. So I'm going to make it 15 degrees because that's the visible by 360. I'm going to make another duplicate, and I'm going to duplicate that one 30 degrees. Now Corel will take over and allow you to go around the circle evenly. Then just let's back zoom in here. Let's select everything, and let's weld it. I got one that didn't weld. I must not have selected it all. There we go. Now I always... Take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. It just kind of seals it. Make sure there's no leaks. So now we got an exact copy. We don't need this one anymore. We, you didn't really need to do that, but I just get in the habit of doing it. This circle is offset from the other one. We're in the center of the page, so just take and hold down your control button and draw another ellipse and hit P on the keyboard. Using the control button to move it up and down, you can't go left or right. Put it about there. Now the next thing to do would be to draw these little flowers. And I'm going to make just a very little circle. Let's zoom in here. And then I'm going to take an ellipse and just not holding down the control button and make it oblong. I'm going to select them both and hit C and put it in the center. Control D and make a duplicate of that. I'm going to move my rotation to the center, and I'm just going to rotate it to where I think it's, it needs to be divisible by 360. So let's go 60 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now you've got your flower. That might not be enough petals. Let's back up here, and let's go 30. See what it looks like. That might be too close. For cutting it out that small, it might fall apart, but that's going to look a little bit better. You could try other things. Um, you know, that's one thing you can just back up. Let's um, let's try 45 degrees. No, not 45 degrees. Yeah, 45 degrees. Hit enter. Control D. And that looks a lot better. That looks like the original. I would take that and for right this minute, I would group it. And then I'd hit P and put it at the center of the page. And then I would move down, holding. And if you hit the control button too early, you break it apart. So start moving and then hold down your control button. Now, this is going to be your drawing. And even somebody suggested, you know, Learn to draw it and make it your own. Don't try to copy somebody else's work. You did get an idea from them, and that's that's good enough. So they've got one right in the center. Uh, it's a little bit small. I've got it grouped together, so I can just hold down the shift key. Let me back up here. Hold down the shift key, and it will grow from the center. Now, my nudge distance is set on point zero zero one. We're going to nudge it up a little bit. Now... This is going to be kind of hand-to-cheek 
there's really no way to rotate, I don't think, around that and make it equal. Um, you maybe could do it from the center. So control D and make a duplicate of that. Click it on again and move your rotation to the center. I'm going to bring in some indexing lines and hit P and P. Take a rotation again and move it to the center of that. Then I'm going to just rotate it and see what happens. That looks pretty good. Control D. And we've moved it 39 degrees. Let's move it 40 degrees. Let's back up here. Let's move it 40 degrees. Control D. Let's move it 80 degrees. And you see what I'm doing. I'm getting kind of the same. They're kind of, it's a little bit different. Their circle might be a little bit bigger. So we can take our circle and holding down the shift key, you get a, the circle grows from the outside. Now what you can do is select these items, control D and make a duplicate of it and hold this bar down or hold this node right down and mirror it over. And that did not work because it's going from the center of the other one. So let's back up here. Let's uh, let's try getting these two, Control-D. This should not work. Nope. So the best thing to do that would just be to, to move it over there manually. Let's see if we have a duplicate, and we do. So let's just move it over here, holding down the Control button. And then let's mirror it so it kind of goes that way. And then just visually get it to that spot. And there's probably a way inside of Corel. And this doesn't have to be perfect because it is a earring. And then all they did was add, you know, little bitty uh, cutouts that you could do. You know, you've already got your area for your hole, for your earring to go through. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Start moving it and hold down the control button and put it in the center. These circles look like they're about the same, but what you can do is increasingly get them smaller. Holding down the control button to make a perfect circle. Control D and make a duplicate and move it up here. Holding down the shift key and making it a little bit smaller. That's probably too small. Let's see how big this one is. This was 0.9. We'll make this one 0.07. Control D. And just move it up. And make it 0 0.06. Control D. And what that does, it actually moves the next one up. And you can put it a little bit more of an arch. Um, then you could grab these. Control D and make a duplicate. Move it over the other side and mirror it so it's equal. And there's a lot of ways to do it. Probably better than I'm doing it, but you kind of get the idea. Um, you could add a little bit more flair with these. Uh, and what they've done, they've got these flowers actually touching, and the ones that are too close, they just took out some petals. So you could add more flowers or add these whoop de doos But That'll give you a good start and something to uh, go off of. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.